Oh, there you go. That's how they like it now. Newfangled medical practices. One day it's this, the next it's that. Newfangled what? What are you actually talking about? The medical profession. It wasn't that long ago that it was all bed rest. Don't move and don't talk. Don't talk? I think that's what they might have just said to you. But then they decided that was going to hold you back from your recovery. And now it's just, well, everybody just has to get on with it. See, she's not really doing her any favours. If that was me, well, I'd be making her get her own coffees. Blimey face, she just come out of surgery. But it's all up here. All in the mind. On the mend! Got a nerve, aren't you? What can I get you? Let's have a cup of tea, please. Uh, same for me. Cheers. Hey, you have. Didn't expect to see you in here. That's awesome. Um, listen, you, you know how sorry I am. Matty, stop. Okay, what happened was an accident. Everybody knows that. I really appreciated those flowers. It was very sweet of you. But now you need to put this out of your mind, and we'll all move on. Okay? Okay. Thanks. It'll heal back to normal. My next operation, though. What happened before out there? Are you sure it's what you want? Well. I don't want to wake up alone in the morning, if that's what you mean. He's desperate to help. He probably is. But right now, I can't even look at him without being reminded of what I can't give him. And then I get stressed. And stressed and in pain, with a prescription for painkillers in my pocket. It's not a good combination for me. We could be uh, proper men. Crack open a couple of lags if you want. Oh, I don't really feel like it. Thank God for that, neither do I. <laughs> hey, uh, Dan said he'd seen you coming here. But um, I can't stop. But it's important, you know. You mustn't take all this the wrong way. What's the right way to take it? She's petrified. She's scared of what the operation means. She's scared stiff of what might happen if she takes the painkillers. Look, I know it was a while ago, but she'll always be an addict. Well, don't talk to me like I don't understand. So I'm sorry. I shouldn't snap at you, but I could help her. I've seen this close up when it happened with Ross, when he was taking him. But she won't let me anywhere near her. Just be patient. She loves you, Pete, and she knows you're there for her. That's all you can do. 